Interesting. Yeah. This week, restaurants and fast food outlets with more than 20 locations are forced to start posting their calorie counts. <laughs> ah, the time of pretending that you didn't know how much uh, this stuff was is over. Yeah. Uh, it's part of the Affordable Care Act passed in 2010. Some large chains started putting up counts already. Uh, but now it's everybody that has more than 20 locations has to do it. And so I think researchers are fascinated by this question sure. because there's this idea from, you know, the nanny state telling us how to live mm -hmm. our life that by putting the calorie counts mm -hmm. up there that we'll all be eating fruits and vegetables yeah. now. What's Does it work? Does it change what we order? Not for me. Does it? No. Does it? I don't. Siri go. I, so when I, when I go out to eat, I, if I want a club sandwich, I'm going to get a club sandwich. If I want a burger, I'm going to get a burger. If I want barbecue, I'm going to mm -hmm. get barbecue. I rarely, if ever, look at the calorie counts to decide what I'm going to eat. Do you okay. look? at the yeah. counts? Like, I do you don't note it or I do you don't just notice. ignore it? Yeah. I, don't, I don't think I notice White it at all. White noise for you. Yeah. Point. Yeah. Okay, I, I, I'm Matt's, sure there. I, I have Matt's point. I want Jason's counterpoint because this is fascinating to me that we have two entirely different Totally works for opinions. me. It absolutely <laughs> changes what I order. Yeah. I Because I look at it and I'm like, well, that. So, so if I'm going to have something that's delicious, yeah. yes. I'm not going to care. But if you're going out for a quick lunch or you're going to like a mm -hmm. national chain, you're, uh -huh. for me, like the food, the difference between like the the least delicious and most delicious, it's mm -hmm. a pretty small range. <laughs> okay. So like I'm not going to order something that is 1,200 calories. And sometimes it's astonishing mm -hmm. what is a, what oh, what yeah. has a lot of calories. I mean the salad. The salad sometimes yeah. you're mm -hmm. better off with a cheeseburger For than sure. you are with a with a 700 calorie the, salad. The, the amazing thing is if you look at the quarter pounder with cheese, 540 calories. Some of these salads, 900, 1,000 calories. It's the dressing. It's yeah. all the sugar and, and the, the fat cheese and, and the and cheese them, yeah. and all of that. All right. So speaking of national change and salad, say you go to Panera. Say you go up mm -hmm. the street. This is where I've been most shocked at Panera. Do where? you actually look at the calorie counts? Yes. And then yes. Side. So then I I'll will get do, like, do this too. It depends on that, the day. That, uh, that, this is such uh, a joyless Asian life you're living. Salad. Come on. But you're already mm -hmm. at Panera. You've already made that choice. <laughs> you have to be joyless. <laughs> wow. Okay. What about at the coffee shop? Now I'm kind of boring. Like mm -hmm. I typically just get like a cup of black coffee or a cappuccino, and that's low calorie anyways. Yeah. Are people making calorie choices so based on what's here? This is a, the research shows that it, they've looked at New Yorkers at who are fast food customers. Sure. Fast food customers. It doesn't seem to make any difference. But okay. then they did another study where they looked at Starbucks mm -hmm. customers. And Starbucks customers decreased their calories by 6% after all the calories started going up at Starbucks. So sure. there could be something with the type of customer, the type of food that you're buying. Yeah, maybe you don't want to spend a thousand calories right. on yeah. a Frappuccino. Mm -hmm. That's more startling to people. Yeah, or I think it's an expectation. I think right? most people will turn out to be like Matt. I or agree. Or you just don't and notice think, it. Right. But mm -hmm. what could happen, so it, the, then you then it begs the question. So why do we even bother to do this in the first place if nobody's paying attention? But what could happen is that restaurants start offering healthier options. Oh, so it forces them to change, and yes. not forces us. It's to embarrassing yes. to them to have right. everything uh, over a thousand. Mm -hmm. Here's our salads, fourteen hundred. Right. Calories. Right. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay.